Good morning, everyone. I hope you're as excited as I am about the big announcement that we just heard from Michael. Let's take one more moment to applaud the entire Databricks company for taking this step to open source Delta Lake. Like Databricks, Adobe has a deep heritage of contribution to open source and open standards. From three weeks ago, when we were part of proposing the latest open cost project to the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, to 1992, when we invented PDF, the most widely used open document standard in the world, Adobe has always believed that open source and open standards are critical to delivering on our mission. At Adobe, our mission is to change the world through digital experiences. We unleash creativity for people by empowering creative people to connect in myriad ways, from the media we consume, to the ads we see, to the websites that we browse and shop on throughout the day. Chances are, those experiences were touched by Adobe technology. Adobe gives everyone, from emerging artists and influencers, to the largest global brands, what they need to design and deliver exceptional experiences. With creative cloud tools like Photoshop and Illustrator, we empower creative people everywhere to build beautiful and engaging visual experiences. With document cloud tools like PDF, Acrobat, and Sign, we accelerate document productivity, because sometimes you can't meet in person. And with the Adobe Experience Cloud, we power digital businesses helping companies design and deliver experiences that drive profitability as well as loyalty. While most people know what Adobe does for powering document and creative productivity, far fewer are aware of the scale and impact that we have with the Experience Cloud on some of the biggest brands in the world. Our tools enable them to deliver exceptional experiences to their own customers, impacting all of us here today and everyone who's watching online. So what kind of scale are we talking about? Well, it's a lot. Every day, we collect in our real-time data collection systems over 150 billion discrete requests from our customers' website, mobile applications, and their real-time streaming systems. And we manage well over 32 billion distinct customer profiles across a broad swath of the largest brands in the world. And every day, we compute over 24 trillion distinct segment realizations. Our system is continuously creating actionable audiences, allowing customers to personalize their customers' digital experiences. So how does Databricks help us to solve the big challenges of understanding and optimizing customer experience at this kind of scale? We'll focus on two big challenges. The first challenge is what I might call the merging of the hemispheres. Just as with people, many technical systems built to optimize customer experience suffer from what we would call a split-brain personality disorder, where the left and the right brains struggle to effectively work together to deliver on the promise of digital customer experience. They're separated between the left brain, the place where analytical workloads are run, and their right brain, where real-time decisions about personalized experiences are made. The left brain in this equation is typically a customer data lake or data warehouse. It's where data is explored, where reports are generated, where new hypotheses are tested, and usually where AI ML uh, algorithms are deployed. The right brain is real-time experience delivery, which requires the use of low latency access patterns, point reads, with latencies counted in milliseconds. Keeping these systems in sync is a big challenge. We see this same pattern in customer after customer. They struggle to keep their analytical and operational systems coordinated, and they suffer from this split-brain personality disorder. So when we built the Adobe Experience platform, we set out to solve this problem for our customers. At the center of the Adobe Experience cloud, we've built a single common platform to integrate our applications and our customers' experience data. It's here at the foundational layer of our tech stack where we leverage Databricks and apply the Lakehouse concept and the Delta Lake table format. 
We provide easy ways to bring in data, whether it's streaming in in real time or onboarding massive batches. And we've created a common paradigm for activating data seamlessly into whatever systems need it to deliver personalization at scale. The system brings the left and right brains together, allowing the analytical and operational brains to work as one unified whole. At the core is the architecture for which Databricks has coined the term lakehouse. It has the scale and cost characteristics of a traditional data lake with the transactional and change data feed capabilities of a traditional data warehouse or database. We can leverage those change data feeds so that every record being inserted, updated, or deleted can be propagated continuously in real time into those real time operational systems. This ensures that the operational brain can drive creative actions taken in the analytical hemisphere. <clears throat> the second challenge we faced was to address the needs of customers in the most challenging and highly regulated environments with respect to data governance and privacy. We heard from customers in healthcare, financial services, and telecoms that they need specialized capabilities in this area. To effectively satisfy the needs of enterprises for, as, enterprises for data governance at scale, it became clear we also needed to support ACID-style transactions at scale. This is where the capabilities of a lake house came into play. Uh, for access control, we worked with Databricks to add the ability to apply a filtering schema at query time so we can control which users and groups have access to the data. In the case of user activity audits, we can leverage the time travel and versioning capabilities in Delta Lake to support auditing of changes over time. And finally, data hygiene is where we saw some of the biggest benefits from Delta Lake. The change data feed allows us to manage record level deletes and updates at scale and cost effectively. Without Delta Lake in the past, we had one illustrative example where when we were leveraging Iceberg, we had to update 28, 27 billion records in order to delete just 27 rows. Not only has this accelerated our ability to cost effectively deliver those types of capabilities at scale, it's also accelerated the delivery. For the main architect who worked on the data lake portion of this data hygiene project, he estimated that we shaved two years of development time uh, with our move from Iceberg to Delta Lake. So how did we take advantage of lake house architectural patterns in order to support the new set of capabilities? We partnered very closely with Databricks every step of the way. First, in early 2021, we sat down with Databricks, shared our roadmap, and they shared their roadmap, and we aligned on what were the major challenges that we would have to overcome to be successful in this journey. Second, we had weekly meetings with Databricks, and we executed on 50 distinct POCs to verify support for our existing workloads and make sure that this transition would only bring positive benefits. We did find a few areas where there were feature gaps, and we partnered very closely with uh, Databricks to close those feature gaps, and we're really grateful for the partnership that they brought to bear there. And then finally, uh, just a month ago, at the end of May, uh, we launched the first offering built on top of this new architecture, Healthcare Shield for our real-time customer data platform product. Uh, and I'd really like to thank not only Databricks, but the entire community around Spark and Delta Lake uh, for the support that they've shown us in being able to achieve this. If, if you would like to learn more, thank you so much. If you'd like to learn more about Adobe Experience Cloud or Adobe Experience Platform, uh, please visit the link above or scan the QR code and it'll take you there. And I'd just like to thank everybody here today for letting me share our Lakehouse story with you.